Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh yeah, you're a fucking hero, so far above it all. Oh yeah, well I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open, see what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking ain't right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, -bye. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on, you're driving us up to the bank. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, the meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend. Industry leader. Well, in some ways you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? 
then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there. You know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why don't be because I'm living out here away from the beam machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. And you're trying to wind me up. But I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I've made my point. I'm not a sadist. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at this bank. And we'll go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. They take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my police scanner to drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. All right. This is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Toledo cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Back at 
team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. He says, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <coughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm going to stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you've got to face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. McCreary? He was part of a well-known Liberty City stick-up crew. Small world. Ah, yeah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. I got a good feeling about him. You sure this is the guy? That should do. 
I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me cast a shoe cast on it. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Why don't you Come on, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Hmm? These redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Lester the molester, bro. We got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. Okay, Trevor, the... Trevor, uh, I'll let you know when the score is happening. Keep me in the loop, bud. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> you wanna sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Uh, fuck you. Uh, where do you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. 
Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what, deep down, I know you believe the bullshit Picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you gone. Man, 10 years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? And I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. Oh, oh, yeah, sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you. He hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. Apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. Hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boss. Well, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't stay out too late. So what is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why did not I hear about him? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. No, Chuck. We can't deal with them yet. There's too many of them. Hey, man, me and Chop on these pumps. We're coming up to WH, north of Chew Miles. All right, all right. The O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo. But one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Cause these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Man, fuck this shit. Elk in the road! Got your back, homie. Find him. Oh, shit! <laughs> Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking now. Don't worry, the incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. 
Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's.
but you can't afford to move out of that corrugated metal death shack. So how you guys doing? Well, we're alive. Hey, good work down there. I'm the one who says thank you. He was helping me. Thank you, Franklin. Yeah, it's cool, Holmes. And thank you, Chop. Hey, are you gonna tell us exactly what we were helping with? I know you said these guys stole some business, but that doesn't really explain why they wanted you dead. Oh, didn't I say what happened after they stole the contract? No, nope, you didn't. Oh, I went to their farm and I killed a lot of them and then I blew it up. Killed a lot of them? Yes! I think that was Elwood, Walton, and Wynn who we killed just then. I killed Ernie, Earl, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dalton, and Don, and a few other guys when I blew up the farm. So, maybe this is kind of a revenge thing. I don't know. Let's not forget that I'm the wrong party here. Yeah, you are definitely the wrong party. Oh, for sure. Come on, Chuck. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're going to borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chuck, get in. See you back at Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's, it's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage, against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her? Are you nuts? She's... She's a 60-year-old housewife! Wow, she's 57! And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss oh. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey! Mother... Hey! Why? No! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions? Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, grab the tape. <clears throat> They rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great, let's go. Polito Bay, let's hit this shit. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the tape? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Uh, shit, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. 
Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! You, generic goon. What was your first bank score? You know what? My first job ain't that interesting. I think I was spotting for my brother's scores in junior high. What is interesting is my biggest job. The Bank of Liberty City. Ah, shit. Yeah. I heard you were part of the crew that took that down. I ran the crew. It was me, my brother Derek, God rest his soul, my pal Michael, God rest his soul, and another boy, Nico, who's probably dead too. They're all dead. Must have been jinxed, huh? All I know is I live to tell the tale. We went in, my pal Michael gets shot. I take down the hero who did it, then we blow the vault, take the money, and meet half the LCPD coming out. The cops are outside, they're in the street, down the alleys, they're in the subway. We just keep moving and shooting, moving and shooting. Climbed out the subway, found a car, and we were away. Sounds like you were the right guy to bring along on this. Let's just hope we ain't jinxed as well. And your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember? I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The check's cash place. I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Ha. <laughs> it was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> yeah. Franklin. Share? Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, the score was like two stacks, man. 2G? Take home on your first gig? Ah, uh, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Die pack went off, home. Money was useless, then. Die pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. All right, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready, because we're gonna want to go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it, damn. I'll bring a die pack just for you. We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. And risk getting ID'd. You're an idiot. I gotta go. It's number two. All right, we all good? Let's hit them. We're gonna hit him! On the ground! We're here for the bank's money, not yours! You getting off on this, little man? Today's going one of two ways, friends! Everyone on the floor! Now! You and you! Out from behind the counter! That's it! Hands in the air! The door should be... Try it! Come over here and kick it, Emma! Stay there! <laughs> On the floor! If I ever meet this alarm guy, I'm gonna fucking shoot him. Yeah, not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Shit. Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <laughs> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. 
I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music. <laughs> Sweet mother of shit. That was your fault. Oh, man! 
else would be fucking this up? Oh! I call! Oh, oh, man! Listen to the shoot! Get a point, they tough! Hold it here! Ah. It's getting hairy over here! It's hairy over here, too, man! Chill! Oh! Over here! That's all right! Good, get! Go, 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 go! Another tank coming from the right! Hey, quite a disturbance you cause! Ah, oh, shit. Well, you know me and Trevor. Wherever we go, drama finals. That's one way of putting it. Hey, hold on! You guys been making free? That's the tank we saw getting an airlift! Running for the factory's our only shot! And we got a train to catch! Kid, I got the armor. Don't worry about me, man. I should have worn a suit, man. Get out, assholes! You holding on up? Friendly, Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay, here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, it's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once operation Save the Worlds ago. Get your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you home. 
Seatbelt. Serious.